Do you think consciousness is more than a computation? Do you think the human mind, the way it thinks, is more than a computation? I, I mean, I, 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 I can say yes or no, but, but, but I don't. I, I have no reason. To, I, I mean. So you don't find it useful to have an intuition in one way or the other? Like when you think about algorithms, do you, is, isn't it I useful think, to I think, think it's about the limits? Unanswerable question, in my opinion, is is no better than anybody else. You think it's unanswerable, so yeah. you, you don't think eventually science. How many will be able angels to can dance on the head of a? I mean, I don't know. Yeah. I, no, I, but angels. I, 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 anyway, there there are lots of things that are beyond that, that we can speculate about, but I don't want somebody to say, "Oh, yeah, Canoe said this," and and so he's 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 smart, and so so he, so that must be. The, I, I mean, I say it's something that uh, we'll, we'll never know. So, uh, Interesting. I, uh, okay, that's a strong it, statement. I I don't. I personally think it's something we will know eventually. Like, there's no reason to me why the yeah. the workings of the human mind are not within the reach of science. That's absolutely possible, and I'm not denying it. Yeah. Uh, but right it, now, you don't it, have a good intuition. It, it, no, one. I mean, yeah. that's also possible. You know that an AI, you know, created the universe. You know, <laughs> intelligent design is yes. all be, has all been done by an AI. Yes. <laughs> this is, I mean, all of these things are, but 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 you're asking me to uh, to pronounce on it, and and I don't have any expertise. I, 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 no, I, I'm a teacher that passes on knowledge, but I don't, but I don't know the fact that I that I vote yes or no on. Well, you I, do I, have I, expertise as a human, not as a not as a teacher or a scholar of computer science. I mean, that's ultimately the realm of where the discussion of human thought. Yeah, well, I know where and consciousness. I, I, I know where where, where Penrose is coming from. He, he, I'm sure he has no. He, he might even thought he proved it, but no, he doesn't. He but, doesn't prove it. But, he is following intuition. But but I mean, you have to ask John McCarthy. John McCarthy, uh, uh, I, I think, uh, we're totally unimpressed by these statements. Man. Um, so you you don't think so even like the Turing paper on uh, on the Turing test that you know starts by asking can machines think oh um, you don't think these kind of um, I, so he Turing doesn't like that question yeah I don't consider it important let's put it that way uh, it, it, because it, it's it's in the category of things that it 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 would, it would be nice to know but I think it's beyond knowledge and so I don't. I'm you know, I'm more interested in knowing about the Riemann hypothesis or something. So when you say be, it's an interesting statement beyond knowledge, yeah, I think what you mean is it's not sufficiently well, it's not even known well enough to be able to formalize it in order to ask a clear question. Yeah, and so I, that's why it's beyond knowledge. But that doesn't yeah, mean it's not. Eventually, going to be formalized. Yeah, yeah. Maybe consciousness will be understood some someday. But uh, the last time I checked, uh, it, it it was still two hundred years away. I, mean, <laughs> I haven't been specializing in this by any means, but 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 I went to lectures about it twenty years ago when I was uh, there was a, there was a symposium at the American Academy in in Cambridge, and it started out by by saying essentially. Uh, Everything that's been written about consciousness is is hogwash. <laughs> I tend to I tend to disagree with that a little bit. So, well, it's, so consciousness for the longest time still is in the realm of philosophy. So it's just conversations without any basis and yeah. yeah. understanding. Still, I think once you start creating artificial intelligence systems that interact with humans. And they have personality, oh, they yeah. have identity. You start flirting with the question of consciousness, not from a philosophical perspective, but from an engineering perspective. Yeah. And then it starts becoming much more. Like yeah, I feel like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't misunderstand me. I, 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 I certainly don't disagree with that at all. Um, and I, even at these lectures that we had, you know, twenty years ago, there, there were neurologists pointing out that. That human beings had, had actually decided to do something before they were conscious of the, of making that decision. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, they, they could tell that 
you know that signals were being sent to their arms before they before they they knew that they were uh, and things like this are, are, are true and and uh, my uh, you know Les Valiant has uh, an architecture for the brain and and more recently uh, 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 Christus Papadimitriou uh, in in the Academy of Science Proceedings a year ago uh, with with two other people but I know Christus very well uh, and and he's got this. Uh, uh, this model of uh, this architecture, by which you could uh, create a uh, things that that correlate well with uh, uh, with experiments that are done on consciousness, uh, and 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 he he actually you know has a a, a machine language that in, in which you can you can write code and and test hypotheses. <laughs> Uh, uh, and, and so it, it it might you know we might have a big breakthrough. My, my personal feeling is that consciousness the the best model I I've heard of uh, to explain the the miracle of consciousness uh, is that that uh, that somehow inside of our brains we're having a. a, a Continual survival for the fittest competition. As I'm speaking to you, uh, all the possible things I might be wanting to say are, are all in there. Are, are, and there's like a you, voting going on. Yeah, right. And and, and, you know, and one of them is is winning, and and that's affecting the, you know the next sentence and so on. Yeah. Uh, and uh, there, there was this book, Machine Intelligence or something. On intelligence. On intelligence. Yeah, Bill. Atkinson uh, was 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 a total uh, devotee of that book. Yeah. Well, I like whether it's consciousness or something else. I like the storytelling part that we. It feels like uh, for us humans, it feels like there's a concrete story. It's almost like literary programming. I don't know what the programming going on on the inside, but I'm getting a nice story here about what happened. And it, it feels like I'm in control and I'm getting a nice, clear story. So, but it's also possible there's a computation going on that's really messy. There's a bunch of different competing ideas. And in the end, it just kind of generates a story for you to, uh, a consistent story for you to believe. And that makes it all nice. 